very happy about too, <laughs> based on the comments that I've been seeing on one particular video that I posted this week, last week, but yeah, um, y'all can guess in the comments, but I won't tell you even if you get it right. It's nothing like crazy crazy, but it is like new music, maybe? Um, but I love you guys. What have y'all been up to? Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me anything and I will do my best to answer. Except for telling y'all what the announcement is tomorrow. But no, it's not the album. It's not that. I will tell y'all that. Um, I've got a ways to go before that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't keep a secret. That's for sure. I like used to have this horrible tendency in the past to like just spew things on the internet when I was super excited and then I would all of a sudden have to eat my fucking words whenever things like wouldn't happen because change plans all the time. That's also part of the reason I haven't been quite as active on social media because when I'm super, super active on it, I get really tempted to let y'all in on like everything behind the scenes when it's just like the reality is behind the scenes is too chaotic and things change constantly. So I... I used to feel really bad for getting y'all's hopes up on things because I would get my hopes up on things and then it would change and then it wouldn't happen and then I felt really bad about telling y'all things. Um, heart b -b 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 beat. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I don't like the way that... I don't like the way that hairband was laying. I also need to get my hair touched up. It's getting... I like, can't wear my bangs right now because they're too long. And when I was on vacation, I went to Costa Rica and it was beautiful, but I was in the water every single day and like my hair has faded so much. It's kind of insane. I really can't keep my bangs. I keep hitting my eyes. I'm just going to do that. Um, <clears throat> have I adopted the cat? Y'all, I'm so sad. I was not able to adopt the cat just because the timing was not right because I was gonna be out of the country for like a whole week and I didn't want to like leave it to my neighbors to take care of this cat when I was so young and do all the work and then all of a sudden I pop back in being like all right I'll take it now like I just I would have felt really bad about that and uh my roommate is allergic to cats and my boyfriend is allergic to cats so that's like the biggest issue like I can't I can't bring something in and then all of a sudden they like literally can't breathe that'd be a huge fucking problem so I'm bummed, but I think I'll know the right cat when when it comes along. And it'll have to be hypoallergenic, most likely, but you also never know. I feel like sometimes if you find a kitten and, like, you're around it from when it's a cat, you almost, like, get used to it, and then you don't react as much, but I, I'm not sure. Um, Maybe World Tour, I don't know. That would be so sick. That is one of my dreams. Um... I'm catching up on comments. Y'all, I always run behind on comments. This is, like, my favorite thing to do. Um, okay, swear to God, if she's getting married, I'll be happy for her. Oh my gosh! I'm also a ways away from that, but I am with the love of my- Super relieved about, so that's great. Um. Your bangs are, like, so iconic. What are you talking about? Also, yeah, the acronym um, that my album is, I'm not telling y'all anything. You can guess all you want, and if you get it right, I still won't tell you. But <laughs> I like how dramatic of a buildup it's being. I feel like it's eventually going to piss you guys off for how long you're going to have to wait, but it is what it is. Um, models should be happy you went into music. That is so sweet. Um... I would love to, like, eventually, like, model with, like, brand collaborations and stuff. Um, I was actually signed to a modeling agency when I, like, first moved out to LA. Like, I just did it. Um, and I didn't end up doing anything because it was, I don't know, it was, like, tricky because I don't, I guess I don't want to be a model where it's, like, I'm a clean, like, portrait to work with and then brands get to kind of dress you and do whatever their vision is for you. It's, like, I want to be the piece of art and then collaborate with people so like I just couldn't ever make it work um so we parted ways but they were really sweet and awesome um I 
Do I speak French? No, and I freaking wish that I did. I think French is, like, such a beautiful language. Just sounds hot. I don't know. Um, I have not listened to Bonnie McKee's album yet, and I need to. I'm actually going to do that right after I get off this live, because she is just an icon in every single way, and has written so many of my favorite songs from my childhood. Like, it's actually crazy. I... I grew up as an athlete and like my whole soccer team like we would listen to Katy Perry like on our way to tournaments and stuff and scream the lyrics and like I just can't believe that I know the person now that like wrote all those songs like never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that that would be a thing for me it's just so crazy but she is the sweetest person ever she's awesome and I need to listen to her album right after this Will you ever release the original voice memos of your songs? I love when artists do that and I've been listening to you forever. That's actually a great question. I don't plan on, at least for now and for the songs that I have out, releasing the original voice memos just because they're usually so rough because I'm really high (laughs) when I write the majority of my music. So it's like I don't even have control of my own vocals like when I'm writing the majority of my stuff. But if I ever end up with like a voice memo of, like, the day that I wrote a song and it sounds good, then, yeah, I would do it. But as of right now, that's not part of my plan. Um. Excuse me, wait, are you a big fan of Star Wars? Um, my boyfriend is a huge fan of Star Wars, and I had never seen Star Wars until we started dating, and I've watched all of them now, and... I really like it. Yeah. I feel like there's so much lore and so much about it that, like, I would have to rewatch the whole thing, like, again, maybe twice to, like, fully (laughs) comprehend everything because it was so much. But, yeah, I really, really liked it. It was cool. And I think that the Rides of Resistance at Disneyland is, like, one of the most impressive rides ever. Like, I was, like, stunned the first time I got to ride it. It was crazy. Um... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know I'm so behind on comments, y'all. <sighs> What's a word that'll describe tomorrow? That's a great question. Let me think about that. Um, I mean, exciting, but that sounds like a cop-out, stupid, cliche answer. Um, exciting, satisfying, also satisfying because this is something that y'all have been asking for, for a little bit. Have I listened to Billie Eilish's new album? Yes, and I love it. I freaking love it. I love lunch and I love birds of a feather. Um, yeah, I I think Billie's an icon. Am am I gonna listen to Sabrina's new single tomorrow? Yes. I'm, like, a huge Sabrina Carpenter fan right now. Espresso is, like, in my opinion, one of the best pop songs that's come out in the past couple years. Like, I can't get over how good it is. And the teaser of Please, Please, Please looks so cool. And I noticed that she said good things come in threes. And it looks like she's doing a three-part music video, which I'm, like, that's so sick because I did that with my stuff. Like, Maybe that's just a thing that's happening right now, but I was like, that's pretty cool. That's really dope that she's doing that, and it looks amazing. Um, I need a new song. Listen, there's there's a new song. There's multiple new songs on their way, and they're going to be here before you know it. Um, I'm not even going to bother commenting because you'll read it in 2078. Listen, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um... bands Beatles or Beach Boys I'm actually gonna say Beach Boys I love the Beach Boys I like (laughs) I sorry I'm not I'm not laughing at that question I just remembered something that my roommate and I did when we first met that was so stupid that had to do with the Beach Boys but it actually didn't have to do with the Beach Boys at all Olivia do you remember that (laughs) she goes like that 
my gosh, this is so... This was, like, right after we first met and, like, we first moved in together. She walks into my room. I'm reading, minding my own business. Completely satisfied to be alone. And she walks into my room. She grabs my djembe. And she goes like this. I fucking love the Beach Boys. (laughs) And I was like... Get out. I was really, I was really high. And that was like one of the first interactions that we had. And I think she was just like, what did I just sign up for? And five years later, we're still roomies. Unfortunately. You know? Um, Tell them I say hi. Oh. Um, Olivia says hi for anyone who cares. So nobody. <laughs> um, why am I always joining your lives when I've got exams literally days away? We have to start scheduling these properly. I'm so sorry about that. I do feel like I've tended to do my lives like on a, like a whim. I'll just be feeling it and I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to go live. And then I give y'all no heads up whatsoever. And I kind of like it that way because I'm super like, chaotic myself and like i don't do well when things are scheduled like at all because i'm like what if i'm not in the mood when it comes around and then i'm not like the most excited hyped up version of myself like i can't guarantee that i'm gonna feel that way until i do um but i do think i'm gonna try to start scheduling these maybe like once a week like what if we do every thursday i feel like every thursday feels like a nice vibe but i could do it like maybe at a better time if that works for y'all i don't know we'll figure it out I'll put up a poll. I'll put up a poll and see what time works for everyone the best for lives. Um, Stella, would you change anything about Feel It Again? I would not change a single thing about that song. Um, yeah, literally not a single thing. I, like, really went in on making that song super tight, and I refined it a bunch. I brought it to one of my favorite producers that um sort of like executive produces some of my stuff and I thought you said that you would add me on a rap verse if you could you're right I'm sorry I lied I said that I was considering adding Olivia on field again having like a rap verse or something I'm sorry dude I forgot it's fine it could happen anything could happen um I love Die Hard. Thank you for this song. Um, I'm so happy that you love Die Hard. Die Hard was a very scary song to put out first, but it was like my gut just knew that it had to happen. I was like, I need to do something drastic that people would not expect from me at all, especially because my sound has changed so much. I'm like, what would be the most jarring way to like introduce this new project? And Die Hard just felt right for every single reason. I think mostly the lyrics, honestly, like the lyrics are just so dark and vulnerable which is not something that I usually up until this point had done in my music and it just felt like it needed to happen and that song specifically encompasses pretty much what this entire body of work that I've been building out is about it's about like the never-ending cycle of broken relationships whether it's like you know like friends or family or partners or mental health or you know whatever it is that you're struggling with in your life I feel like we all have these little patterns and these cycles that we fall victim to um that feel kind of impossible to get out of but if you're able to break it it's just like the most beautiful freeing thing in the world so I felt like that song represented pretty much everything that I want my music to be about from here on out so yeah I'm so happy that y'all love that song and that is all what's your favorite song of the new album my favorite song I have two favorites that y'all have not heard at all yet and I've like been trying my very best to not leak them because I used to do that a lot in the past and then I would ruin the hype so y'all will hear them later this year they're freaking sick um I'm so excited (laughs) I'm like so so excited about it uh sorry I'm really sorry about that um (laughs) <laughs> I can name four recent pop songs better than Espresso. They're called Blood Orange Wine, Midnight Killer, Die Hard, and Feel It Again. Don't know if you've heard of them. I've never heard of those, but I need to check them out. That's dope, though. 
Um, thank you. I love you guys. How, how far behind am I on comments for real? Oh. oh, also, this is something that I'll, I can ask you guys on my story too, just to get some votes on it. But I, uh, I'm about to start showing y'all options that we have come up with for merch, and I want y'all to pick your favorites. Um, vinyl is guaranteed that's happening. But I was wondering, and I know I've brought this up before and a couple of y'all have asked, would y'all be interested in if I did a limited run of Woman of the Hour on vinyl? Because it's four-year anniversary is coming up in November. And I think it could be cool to do that. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I'll also put up a Lalo link on my story and you can sign up if that's something that you would be interested in. But I don't know. It could be cool. It could be cute. I've always wanted to hear that specific EP on vinyl. Let me know. Um. I have Chapel Run songs stuck in my head all the time, y'all. When that album first came out, I was like, this is one of the best debut albums I've ever heard in my life. And I'm so glad that it's finally blowing up and that she's getting the recognition she deserves because holy shit, what an artist. Like, what an incredible artist. Like, a once-in-a-lifetime act. Seriously. Um, and she's also just super inspiring. Like, that album came out last year and it's just now starting to blow up too. Like, good music just doesn't have an expiration date. And I love that that's, that's just proof. Like, she's living proof of that. And she's just, she's awesome. She's amazing. Um, sorry, I'm reading these comments. I can't talk and read at the same time. It's like a problem that I have. Wish me luck. Medical school is hard. Peace out. I'm wishing you so much luck and sending so much love and positive energy your way. You're going to crush your exams. Um... Would you put on an acoustic version of Die Hard? Yeah, maybe. I would do that. I am scheduling some, like, uh, live sessions coming up to get some of the songs, some of the new songs that y'all haven't heard yet, but um, I would also love to put that one in there. Would you like to do a collaboration with Lana Del Rey? Fuck yes. She's, like, one of my favorite artists of all time. I, like, grew up listening to Lana. Like, in high school, that was, that was it for me. <laughs> like, I love her. I think she's a walking piece of art. And I think that her songwriting is just like... I think it just completely transformed the way that people write music. At least me. Um, I miss when Stella would leak everything. Guys, I miss doing that too. However, it became a problem when I was leaking things that were not going to end up coming out. Because at the moment, I'd be super excited about things. But then plans would change. I was talking about this earlier on my live, but plans would change. Plans change literally every single day, um, behind the scenes. And it's like, sometimes I don't even know if something's actually going to come out until like a week before, or sometimes till it's actually out in the world. And I used to feel really bad about <laughs> leaking a bunch of stuff and then plans changing and it not coming out. So that is why I have stopped doing that. Um, and I also think it's really important for the first time that I leak something to be, um, the right like aesthetic and the right I guess delivery of it because I think that how you first introduce a song kind of gives it like the world that it's going to live in and so that's something I've been very intentional about in this body of work is making sure that first time you guys hear a song like it's got art to back it up that's just like really beautifully shot so that is why I don't do that anymore what else what was your favorite Pokemon? I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't know. Let me let me look into that and get back to you on it because I would love to have a favorite. I just don't know enough about it to even answer that question. Um, I'm so behind on comments. 
I know this happens every single time. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I always think that I'm going to do well with it, and then I just don't. Um... I love the idea of merch has been floating around for like six years now and nada. It's actually happening this time, guys. And I'm not lying when I say that. Like, I'm about to give y'all options and you guys are gonna pick which designs you like the best, which is great. Um... What was the process of finding your new sound? Um... That's actually a great question. I, it was actually pretty wild. I just had like this switch that happened and one day I drastically, there there was like a crazy change in my sound and I think that, I don't know. It was like, there was this one moment where everything just made sense and I was like, oh, that's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and it happened when I was actually starting to feel way healthier mentally, um, which was really shocking to me because I always have had like the rock and roll mentality where it's like, you have to be fucked up to like write good music. And while that can be true sometimes, in my case, it's been quite the opposite. Like I have been writing the best music I've ever made in my life um, since I started getting healthier um, mentally. And that has been a game changer for me. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I wish I could say that there was like a process that like helped me find it. But I just went to the studio one day and wrote, um, and wrote this song and I was like, that's it. Um, and then I started writing everything else around it. And yeah, it just like kind of evolved from there, but it just like hit me. It just hit me one day. I also will say, (coughs) I also will say that I write from a very vulnerable place now. And I think that also has to do with me being mentally in a way better headspace and having healed a lot. Um, All my old songs were coming from a very like defensive, angry headspace, which I loved those songs. And like the confidence anthems, like I always love a good confidence anthem, but it was like, only that was only covering like a tiny sliver of my story which was like those rare moments that I felt like a badass and felt really confident when it's just like there was so much in between those moments that led me to having those moments that I just like never let y'all see or like never let y'all hear and so I felt like the majority of my story and who I am was just missing in my music and then I started to feel super disconnected from it and I, you know, once I started just, like, really healing and, like, taking time to get to know myself and and heal and focus on my mental health, I was able to um, start writing from a much more, like, walls-down perspective and feel less defensive, and I could talk about the complexity of my emotions around certain situations that I experienced instead of just, like, anger constantly, um, and it was also really draining writing confidence anthems, like, back-to-back, like, it was not fun for me for a really long time because I was constantly having to like relive the trauma that I went through and relive like that dark negative angry headspace to just get like confidence anthems because I had to be like fired up and angry to write them and it just like was not fun for me like I hit a point where I was like I'm not happy anymore um and I was also catering to an algorithm for some of it which was very frustrating but yeah I don't know I just kind of rambled there but whatever um, is this hair also going to be revealed to be a wig? No, I promise. Okay, I, like, promise. I, like, She's lying, it's a wig. No, I'm not! Look at her working over there. Okay. You can't see me. Favorite Lana album? I don't know, dude. I mean, honestly, like... Her first three albums are just, like, untouchable to me, but I have really fallen in love with Ultraviolence, like, the older I've gotten. There's just something about it. I think it's, like, a perfect body of work. And then Florida Kilos ended up being one of my favorite songs she's ever put out, and that's on the deluxe version. So, 
yeah, I would say Ultraviolence probably, but I love all of her music. <clears throat> what is a piece of advice you have for young songwriters? I have such a hard time figuring out how to be confident with the song. Um, write every single day. And I know that sounds really just like cliche, but write every single day because I fully believe that songwriting and singing and just doing music in general is like a muscle and you have to exercise it to get really strong and get really good at it. Um, and even if you're writing songs every day that you're not crazy about, there will be one day where you write something really special and you're like, oh wow, all that effort and all that work that I put in was worth it for this one song. Um, and I also think that it's really helpful to play your stuff for friends and family and like even post it online. And I know that social media is pretty aggressive and there's like a lot of really not nice people online, but the majority of it is like, sometimes constructive criticism and like you want people giving you notes and feedback on your stuff so that you can find ways to make it better because sometimes when you live too close to your own songs you can't really figure out like what's missing um so I would say write every single day and don't be afraid to put your stuff online because the more you put out into the world the more that you get in return um and find what makes you unique like there's so much music released every day. I think it's like 100,000 songs are released every day. So it's like, there's no way to cut through that amount of music unless you're doing something completely unique to who you are as a human because you're the only you. And if you can figure out how to, I guess, basically write music that represents who you are, then that's that's the way to cut through. So hopefully that helps. But um God, I'm so behind. Oh my God, I literally just saw the Emlyn joined. I don't know if you're still on here, but I love you and I'll see you tonight. Um, Touche is never coming out. I'm so sorry. And I've mentioned that on a couple of my lives before, but Touche is never coming out. Um, and I'm not saying that sarcastically. It's just like, I've completely changed sounds and touche was also never supposed to come out that was actually one of the only songs i've ever leaked where the purpose of leaking it was to build momentum for another song and i so severely regret doing that um the rest of the song was really bad like the parts that you didn't hear were just not good um and i'm not even gonna lie about it like they were really bad um there was not really a lot of thought and the reason that i posted that clip was just because that specific clip was really fun and exciting but the rest of the song that you did not hear i promise you was not good um and that was definitely a big learning lesson for me and that's also why I don't leak stuff anymore um but yeah that song will not be coming out and I'm sorry if that's disappointing but yeah that's the update on that um what else roses is the best song ever I'm so happy that you like that song um so funny i like used to actually hate flowers and now i love them so much like i literally feel like i want to buy flowers like every single day like i'll go to like the little nursery down the street and i'm like do i buy yet another plant the answer is yes every single time my entire backyard is just like covered in plants at this point um Um, Abby, I don't know if you're still on, but hi, I miss you too, and I hope that you're doing so well. Oh my gosh, I need to text you. We need to catch up. Um, Are you planning on releasing an album? Are you happy with EPs, not album singles, so you don't have to stick to an overall concept? I am planning on releasing an album. That's something I've been talking about at least a lot of my lives. Um, it's just something that I'm building to. Um, and all the songs that I have been putting out so far this year on like this project are going to be part of that.